It doesn't matter where I hide or what I do, they always find me. And like all of you, what I want more than anything is to know why. Let's get biblical, biblical. I want to get biblical. Let's get the biblical. All right. I want to show y'all real quick. This movie right here is called Society. Now, watch this, right? Like I said, I watched this movie a long time ago before I got activated. But I, one thing about this movie is that I, I, I was always... The reason why I liked it because of the message. Because this dude was being gangstalked. But I understood the movie because it was like basically like Illuminati and how they sell people out. But this right here, I want to show you this clip real quick. I ain't going to be able to show you too much because I know that this movie right here, I think this movie was, was made in the UK or something. It's definitely not an um, American movie. So I know it's going to be like banned in certain places. I play, you know what I'm saying? All right, they keep messing with my phone. I guess don't want me to give you all this message. But anyway, this part right here is when he bite the fruit. Now, this is all biblical. This is all symbolic to Genesis. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit. What what do the tree of knowledge represent? Knowledge, right? God didn't want Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. The forbidden fruit was the tree of knowledge. God wanted you to be God wanted Adam and Eve. God wanted Adam and Eve to be dumb. Now watch this. When he when he bite the fruit, watch what happened. You're gonna see a bunch of snakes and worms come out the fruit. I I feel like something's gonna happen. And if I scratch the surface, there'll be something terrible underneath. It's perfectly normal to experience a certain irrational fear. Now, see, this is all biblical. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is all biblical. Because when you, if you know the movie, you will understand what I'm saying. Because now, now, now listen, they, they showed you worms, a.k.a. snakes. What was in the Garden of Eden, right? It was a serpent, right? The serpent was the one that told Eve, you should not surely die. For God knows that the day that you eat the fruit, you shall be woke. Your eyes is going to, your eyes are going to be open. Basically your third eye, you're going to, you're going to, and you're going to realize that you're a God. You see what I'm saying? See, y'all don't be reading the scriptures. But when you go back and read the scriptures, that's what it says. So, in our reality, God was your enemy. Because God wanted you to be asleep. Now, if you watch this movie, after he, after they showed him biting this fruit, what happened? He woke up. And he realized that he was in the gang stock assimilation. He realized that everybody that was around him was all fake. His his parents, his sister, his friends. In fact, he only had like one real friend. So, if you get a chance, check this movie out. It's a, it's a gang stalking movie. I'm going to be showing more clips in the future. But that's what this right here represents. He eats the fruit. They show the worms. The book of Genesis. Adam and Eve ate the fruit. Who, who seduced Eve to eat it? The serpent, a.k.a. the reptile, the reptilian. Which was already here from the jump. Ain't no aliens coming. Ain't no reptilians coming. They already here. They been here. You just didn't know. None of us knew. You know why we didn't know? Because we was too busy looking up at the sky. Waiting for a white Jesus to come and save our black asses. Can I get a hello there? Holla back.
gang stalking simulation. Are you being gang stalked? Does the world feel strange? Do it feel like they're watching you? Are you lonely? Nobody to trust? Gang stalkers around. Spying on you. Tracked down by drones. Absolutely no privacy. Welcome to Gang Stalking Simulation.